Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. Now, our messages this week are about abandonment, the vibration of abandonment. Where do you feel like you've been abandoned? Do you feel that you've been abandoned by loved ones, by your friends, by a partner? Do you feel like you've been abandoned by your angels, the universe? Has that feeling been there since you were a child? And how has it impacted your life? We're going to ask our angels for guidance on this vibration of abandonment because it could very well be impacting all kinds of different areas of your life right now. What I'd like you to do first is place one or both of your hands over your heart just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is invite your angels to guide you to a particular place in the video. Just move your cursor along until you intuitively feel it's time to stop. And right there is an extra special message from your angels. All right. Okay. So we have my Orosoma cards again. I love using these cards because we work with color. It's very healing. Just shuffle them. I already shuffled it before. So let's see. See if you can intuit where I'm going to pick the cards from for number one, two, or three. Ooh, I'm feeling like it's right there. I can see this card sticking out. <laughs> That's it. First card. All right. Second card. Where are you? I'm going around these, that same area. It's feeling like it's right there. And the middle and then I'm just being told it's on the bottom all right there you go let's, let's see what we have so our first card is strength we've had this card before haven't we strength so in Orosoma that number 89 is called the rescue uh, rescue bottle and it's red on top and it's a deep magenta underneath and these two colors are red essentially the magenta has red and blue in it so with this it's strength it's a lion's vibration it's courage but it almost feels to me as if the message is saying you you may be um, setting yourself apart from people that you are creating a boundary around yourself and it may be that you are especially with all that red energy you might have been feeling a little bit frustrated maybe with others or a little bit angry or just that you know things are not quite going your way that's the feeling of it when i tune into this card the reason i say that is because energy rescue is very much about picking your energy up again so this is saying it's almost like you you feel like it's you don't have the energy anymore and that energy that lack of energy is coming from feelings of abandonment feeling like you don't have help, you don't have enough support, you don't have your needs met, etc. So that abandonment is creating a lack of energy in your life. And it may well be that it's also stopping you, preventing you from moving forward. It's a little bit like homeopathy. So the message is that abandonment vibration and lack of energy, but also this red, all this red is going to support you and help you to move forward. So that red energy is giving you a clue that where you need to look to heal the abandonment is in your root chakra. That root chakra vibration, the root, the root cause. And that root is the red energy at your feet, at the base of your spine that roots you into the earth. Because the abandonment can also make you feel like you don't belong here, don't belong on this planet, but you do belong. This is a most beautiful energy of the lion, of courage, of power, of realizing that you have so much more power than you knew. So I feel that this is saying, stand in your power, root yourself into the earth, realize that you're here for a reason, you have a job to do. And I also feel that you've put boundaries around yourself. And now it's time to start calling in your friends. And I feel that part of this is about being on the same level 
as those people, being on the same level as your friends, as your colleagues, as your loved ones, just being on that same level and not putting yourself into a place where you are beyond, let's say, them. So there's a feeling now of just put yourself into the same level as them, open your heart up to receive their love, their friendship into your life. Let me just ask if there's anything else. I feel like that's it for the moment. I feel like there's a lot of work to do for you within this vibration, within this energy. I would use red, you know, use that vibration of red, use that energy of red. And I'm just being told that Archangel Uriel is someone for you to work with. That's to me, that's a golden energy. And I feel that that is linked in with the lion, giving you courage, supporting you, opening you up to realize that you have so much more power than you, than you knew. I love that. Okay, so second card is, now this is violet and gold. So it's, I think we may have had this before as well. It's the Knight of Wands. And in Orosoma, this is violet on top and gold on the bottom. So this is, it's known as the Egyptian bottle. That violet energy and the gold energy says that you have been through enormous change, especially just recently, lots and lots of change. But part of this is saying that you're still looking for something that's missing. So that change, it's almost like it's, it's trying to remind you of an energy, a, a lifetime, a, a love, um, a gift. It's almost like it's trying to remind you of what you need to now draw back into your life. And I, I feel with this, you know, it's to me, it's, it's like he's searching for the Holy Grail. He's on a search for something and he feels like he's by himself looking for it. And when I look at this card, I, I feel that you need to find your tribe. You need to find your community, those people, those souls that are going to support you as you look for that Holy Grail, as you look for that, that elusive love, that elusive gift, that past life energy, whatever it is that wants to return to you. Because I feel like there's a return energy that's coming in here. The gold is a golden opportunity. The violet is that connection to spirit, to the energy of spirit. Now I feel with this that it's there's almost a sense of Archangel Jeremiah coming up with this energy. And Jeremiah helps you to review your life, to look at your life and, and see where you have succeeded and maybe what you still need to work on. And I feel when I'm looking at this as well, that that violet energy is saying that you've moved through so much, you've done so much work, you've been extremely successful, but that golden energy, there's a sense that there's still something that's going to come to the surface that needs to be healed or needs to be reviewed and needs to be looked at. So there's a lot of different messages in this. Have you noticed that? Lots of different messages. But I feel that part of this is recognizing that you may feel alone, you may feel like you're doing all this by yourself, but you're not. You have a support team that's there in spirit and they're guiding you to find your tribe, to find the people that will really help you in this lifetime. Just open yourself up to receive that as well. I'm just getting one more kind of message with this. It's almost like don't, don't have this vision of what that looks like in your next step necessarily of the tribe of the of the community of the people that are going to support you just be open to receive all these different energies coming in because i feel like there's lots of different opportunities for you that are going to come in, that that are going to come in that really link in with being with your peeps, your people, your friends, your community, your soulmates. That's it. Your soulmates. Oh, I love that. All right, our final card. I love this card. This is 
the guardian angel. Guardian angel is lilac and pale blue. And look at that lovely pathway going to the back there. Guardian angel says you are heading in the right direction. In your life, you're heading in the right direction. The lilac energy is about transmutation. So it's saying you are like the violet. You're, you're shifting, you're changing, you're sloughing off a skin. You're, it's like a snake snuffing off a skin. You're changing your identity in some respects, but you're becoming lighter, much lighter. That blue vibration says that you may have felt a little bit lonely along this path that you know that you have a very strong connection to spirit, that you have enormous gifts, enormous capacity to support and help others. But you may have felt like, again, that you're doing this alone. And I feel like your angels are saying, you're not alone. You have your guardian angel with you. You have your team with you, your spirit team with you. And just like that second card with finding your tribe, I feel like there are people that are dotted around that are starting to come into your life that really resonate with your, your true self. And I feel you're going to be letting go of people in your life right now that have taken this journey with you but maybe can't go any further. And I feel that this guardian angel is just saying, it's okay, you can take that leap, you can take that next step, you're going to be okay, it's a safe space for you to move into. And look at the card, when you look at the Cersei angel, there's a, another being with light, and it, it's almost like you are being shown the way. You know what you need to do in order to heal and I feel that, again, it's coming back to that highly intuitive energy, the intuition that is you, the psychic energy that is you, the, the clairs that is you, you as a medium, you as an angel healer, as an angel communicator, you have all these amazing gifts, all these amazing, amazing vibrations around you and within you. And I feel that these are helping you to take that next step. But they also may have made you feel a little bit insular and therefore made you feel a little bit abandoned. But your angels want you to know you're not abandoned at all. They are right there with you and they're helping you find who you are and where you need to be next. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. All about abandonment. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you and also if you intuited where the cards came from in the deck. And of course, I would love it if you would share my work with your friends and I'm sure they would love to have an angel message this week. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> bye, bye.